He sat there for the 10 well. also. Yeah, there's down. contact with the 48, also the 47 of Ryan Priest involved. The 48 of Jimmy Johnson got into the 10 who was turned around. It all started with the 18 sideways right on the front stretch. The caution once again is out. And yeah, they come off of turn four and the 10 car and the 18 were got, uh, they got together both spinning. Look at the damage on the 10 Let's car. Let's take a look at it. Down at three and four. I don't know if there's a little contact there, but they just get together really similar to last year's finish. And it turns the 18 back across the racetrack. The 10 spins to the inside. The 48 makes contact with the 10 here. Big contact. Doesn't look like anybody hits Kyle's car. Very lucky. I think he was extremely lucky. Look at Matt. Look at Chase Elliott. Oh, gosh. I would say that Kyle Busch was very lucky, as you said. Stay low, stay low, gas up, still outside, come back middle, come back middle, still outside. Oh, that was close. Come up, come up, come up. This is what we talked about, man. That 19 car has been dominating this race all day long. But here are these rash yellows that always come at the end of this race. Watch it, check up, check up, check up. And this is what we're going to see the rest of the night, I oh. think. You talked about it at the start of the race, right? <laughs> wreck happens in front of you. Look how far the wreck is. 47s, 10 cars back. Gets into it. Didn't do anything wrong. It's just Martinsville. Heavy damage on the left front of Matt DiBenedetto in the 95. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Did he get through this okay? That's uh, great that's camera big. work right there. On a bad day, Kevin Harvick's not run well, currently running seventh. Now you want to see if you're Gene Haas or Tony Stewart, three of your cars cross the start finish line at Martinsville, but not in that replay. And not one of them backwards. No. And still with 137 laps to go. Yeah, you see right here, heavy damage on the 10.